John Rice Plumley. Third and three. And Ely able to turn the corner and get his way to the line to gain. Team preseason all SEC. Second and six will get work again on that left side as he weaves his way through that Gators defense inside the 40 and another first down for Ole Miss. Play today, fourth down and three. High snap, Corral gets it. And Corral trying to survive and he is taken down. So it's a turnover on down, Zachary Carter with the sack. Has really gotten comfortable in Dan Mullen's offense. Pierce went for nine yards, second and one. Trask, look at the time he has to choose an option, and he does with Copeland. Gators after the turnover on downs. Four-man pressure. Trask resets his feet, and in doing so, gets the All-America tight end, Kyle Pitts, who's going to be a matchup problem for everybody this year. Trask, there's Pitts. Here's Trask in cut, and it'll be a first and goal Gators as he connects with Davis. Third and goal. Play action. And there he is, as you said, Kyle Pitts. First Gators touchdown of the season. Corral trying to spin free and unable to do so. Ventrell Miller with the sack. Only took over after an early injury to Corral. Third and 19, Corral, time to wind up, and he does it, what a strike! And finding an in-cutting Elijah Moore, and they convert it. Pass rush. And quick to the line. Corral wants every bit of it, and he's gonna find it! Drummond! Hotty toddy, what a start there for Corral! Future of the program, Fleet Feet, big arm, was a big recruit as well. Jones going to loft it downfield, and it is easily picked off. That's A.J. Finley, who was just waiting for that rainbow to come down, and he finds the pot of gold. Interception, Ole Miss. Better get ready for some investigative journalism here. Could be a double pass. Drummond's going to wind it up. Wide open and into the hand. Razzle dazzle Lane Kiffin's in town, folks. Second and goal, but backed up. Corral batted at the line of scrimmage. And Florida believes that they have come up with that ball, and they have. That is Jervon Dexter, the outstanding freshman who comes up with the turnover. Line. It was Brenton Cox who got his hand up, and watch where this ball goes. Wow. I mean, just two consecutive plays by Cox. Run. They have these planned packages for him. And here is the quarterback run as he's able to move the chains for the Gators. Tony on the jet motion as he's able to break that first tackle. And look at Kadarius Tony. A burst of power and then a whole lot of speed. Chunk play. Gators. And now Trask to the end zone. Touchdown, Grimes. The 6-4 senior. After four games, I mean. Connor breaks free. As Connor's able to get it out to the 45-yard line. Third and 11. Corral, pressure in his face, he slips past it, tucks, runs, first down, and slides safely past midfield to the 45-yard line. Here, let's see if they cross the field right here. Third and eight, Corral steps up, he tucked, ran for it before, and what a juke he puts on to get it this time. There, he took off, picks it up again with his legs. Quick strike and complete to Moore, his favorite target. Their would-be starting center opted out because of COVID concerns. Corral. Into the end zone is Drummond. What a first half he has had. Won't be representing this state anymore. I mean it. I'm tired. Even before that, 
Momo Sonogo and Ryder Anderson from the Ole Miss defensive unit is coming. And we saw United Force earlier today as well, just before kickoff. Copeland had the 14-yard touchdown from Trask, and now Trask comes back, and he goes to Copeland again. Going back now, it's always been coaches telling players what to do, but this is a new time. Let the players teach you, because their wisdom includes things he's never even thought of before. Trask is able to connect with Kadarius Tony, and they bring five against him. Trask with time, and it's Tony again. Spinning inside the 20-yard line, and Florida's on the move. Second seven for Trask. To the end zone, he goes, and into the hands of Tony. Touchdown, Gators. <laughs> and that is the SEC championship. Here's third and two, and Connor doesn't find much, and a flag is down. Second 10, four-man rush against Trask. And over to Henderson, Xavier Henderson with the reception. Significantly, and that's what we just saw right there. Final minute of this first half, second and 10. Trask gonna connect with Davis who gives a juke and goes ahead out over the 40-yard line. The sidelines just yet start to get into a rhythm. Trask, plenty of time to set up and gets a big man, Kyle Pitts. Accuracy and consistency to the position. Guy who was grossly under-recruited here. 20 seconds to play in the half, and coming back for the ball that time was Pitts. Still provides that same type of matchup problem. Remember, one timeout in the back here, and you're not going to need it. Kyle Pitts scores it as Trask made the call. A little bit of safety pressure as they bring Jones off the edge. Pierce picks it up. Trask downfield, and with that, here is Pitts. Run, young man, run. Touchdown, Gators. Recognizing and diagnosing the coverage. Corral downfield, and he finds Moore. And Elijah Moore is weaving, and he's inside the 20. Great execution by Ole Miss's offense. I snap. Ely's going to take it straight ahead, catches a seam, makes a move, keeps his balance, and with a helping hand, right into the end zone. Just what they needed, a response, and they get it. Davis, and Davis breaks free. Malik Davis with a little something extra out to the 48-yard line. Third down and 12 to the near side and lunging for it was Whittemore. Let's see where they mark him down. Pressure off the edge. Trask dips up and he's going to dump it down to Davis. Davis wrapped up and taken down. Lining up for a 55-yard attempt, McPherson. Can he drill it? Great turnover, great drive, and puts it right through. He needs to get guys on campus and develop relationships, and that'll come in time. Matt Corral pumps, goes deep, and is able to connect. And it's Elijah Moore again. One of the most dangerous playmakers in the SEC is having himself a day. Four man rush. Against Corral. He's going to split the middle and just bring it ahead to the 25 yard line. That would have tied the game. 42 yard attempt, and it is off to the right. So a missed opportunity. Well, that, so that counts the Raiders as a head coaching debut there. Here's Emory Jones back in the game at quarterback, and this is exactly what he's capable of. Creation process into the, one of the best quarterback developers in the game. Now you get to see his arm. Near side and Grimes is going to take it inside the 30 as he makes his way. Jones looking over his options, then goes inside the 10 and incomplete. History. The longest is 60 by Chris Perkins all the way back in 1984. 
as he puts it through again. Had a great conversation as Pierce takes it straight ahead. He'll do so for a first down. Brian John. So much respect for him and, and his ability to connect with the players. He was the MVP of that Sugar Bowl. I believe you guys were ranked number four in the country. They consider the other person's perspective before we foster an opinion or comment on it. And I just thought that was such tremendous perspective from him. Look at these moves by Naquan Wright. Here's Trask, splint right to the end zone. And incomplete as Whittemore went out of bounds. Out there. Boy, and this looks like a team that may have all the elements. They got the quarterback, they got the defense. And they got the special teams. Downfield and able to get it complete to Yaboa. Yaboa the senior. And this time, Corral's able to get it complete. He's got UFC 253 tonight. The prelims are going to start at 7 Eastern on ESPN2. And then, of course, ESPN Plus for the main event. And once again, it's Yaboa as the downfield target. Well, he is a plug-and-play starter for this team, and they're going to need him. And here he is, reaching out. And touchdown! Kenny Yaboa. Two-point conversion attempt. As they'll come to a tighter formation, Ely in motion. Corral to the end zone, and in the back of the end zone, he gets Mingo. Looks like they're showing pressure off the edge again. And they're going to run with Pierce. And Pierce gets free. Gets the corner and puts on a move. And it's another first down for Florida. I don't blame the booze. Tony will stop and start and go. And he has a first down. Bleed that play clock. And now play action. And Trask is the easy dump off to Pitts. And Pitts will have another first down inside the 15. Cannot say enough about Kyle Pitts and what he has been able to do. I think it's revealed when you get to this part of mid-Saturday. To the end zone. Did he hold on? Yes. Touchdown, Kyle Pitts. And that is six now for Trask. Us included. Great to be back in the South. Corral dancing his way and then lowering the shoulder for a first down. And maybe having a chance to go over 30 is pretty dang impressive. Hey, we get to see Alabama tonight in prime time against Mizzou. The game was 35 to 14. And Thompson, a couple of touchdown runs, and then Vaughn just tied it up 35. Vaughn does. Playing things out here with Corral in this Ole Miss offense as he gets inside the 10 and tries to reach out for the goal line. Ball comes loose and he jumps on it. Let's see if they mark him down short. No. Throughout this game, just making guys miss. Pretty sudden as a runner. And a good effort there. They'll probably take a look at it. The ruling is the runner was down with the ball inside the one yard line. It'll be first and goal at the one. Connor and Corral will set up at the one yard line, see if they can punch it in. And Connor does just that. Corral's going to run it himself, and he's going to come up short. Matt Corral steps up in the pocket to the end zone again, and incomplete and triple zeros across. And Florida with 642 total yards, their most in a conference game in school history. 